Welcome to Nifty Notions from So Very Easy. My name is Laura and I need a mat that works like a puzzle. Because my machine is sunk into the table, I have a big surface that I can turn into a cutting surface. But I don't want just one side, I want as much surface as I can to be covered. Sometimes I'll cut here, but I would like to be able to use that length as well. So I need a cutting mat that's going to conform to a shape that I want. Now I could just take a mat and cut it, or I can put one together like a puzzle. So in my case, I'm going to be able to use three mats at 18 inches by 24 inches and put them together like puzzles. And they do put together like puzzles because the corners can come apart like puzzle pieces so you can join them. You can use them as a flat mat or take them apart and get connector pieces to join them all together. Ultimat comes in different sizes so you can get sizes to fit unusual areas. And because this is a very slippery surface, I don't want my mats to move as I'm cutting. So I'm going to lay down a surface to prevent the mats from slipping. I'm going to use the True Cut non-skid pads. And it comes in a great travel tube, so if you want, you're going to be able to carry these wherever you need to go. When you touch the mat, the mat does not feel sticky, but it definitely sticks onto itself and onto other surfaces. It doesn't stick like tape, so we're going to be able to remove it and put it down whenever we need it. I have three of these non-slip mats to match my cutting mats. I'm going to be able to lay down the mats first and have that arrangement that I like. Then I can put the mats right over top. You need nothing special to put these mats down. Just a clean, dry surface and lay them down. They really stick on. Now I'm going to be able to put my mats right over top. I've placed my three mats right on top of those non-skid pads and I've lined up all the edges. You could take off some of the corner pieces so you can get the little corner pieces to put them together like puzzles. I want to join the two mats together along the one edge. I will be able to use this corner piece. Put it in and snap it together. So not only is the mat underneath going to hold it down and prevent it from sliding, this is going to keep it from sliding and it's going to make it a very smooth surface. The ends I'm going to be able to leave just the way they are. Where I have the three mats joined together, there's a piece that is designed for four mats to go together. So it's more of a four corner, but I'm still going to use this piece and it's going to hold all three of these mats together. Just push it in. This little piece hanging out is not going to bother me at all because I'm cutting in this surface. This piece will give you an opportunity to even make it bigger if you wanted to have four mats together. And because you can get different sizes, you can get a big cutting surface. This is a self-healing three millimeter mat, so it's nice and thick a very durable working surface. It has nice thin marking lines on it with a 60, 45, 30 degree angle and a nice 90 degree angle in the center with a 45 degree mark on the side. And with my corner pieces put on, I now have a cutting mat the shape and the size that I want. This will give me a long working surface in one direction and going in the other. And this mat is never going to slide and get in my way. And I can pick it up and move it whenever I need to. I now have a workable cutting space that fits the space that I need it to fit. I'll put a link in the description to the Ultimat and to the non-slip pad. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.